You guys ready for fun fun tivities? So last time we met, last time we met, we did the paddle boat challenge. Woo! And everybody was successful, right? Had you done that one yet, Kaylee? The paddle boat? Uh, no. I started it, but I didn't finish. Oh, okay. I think it's kind of fun, and it worked until until Josie's boat got soggy. Then it didn't work so well. Can you hang on for a second? We're not doing that yet. I kind of want to let just let it fly. Okay. So what we're going to do today, what we're going to do today is part two, part two of the mechanical engineering badges. And part two is uh, the balloon car design challenge. Okay, so we're going to do part two. The balloon car design challenge. So, there's a couple things you guys need to know about first. I should have got a rubber band. So, um, last week we talked a little bit, of, or two weeks ago when we met, we talked a little bit about um, the energy that gets stored in the rubber band. Do you guys remember? We talked a little bit about what happens with that rubber band. As we take it, we twist up that paddle and that stores some energy in the in the rubber band that then when it gets released there's some tension there and the tension wants to wind the paddle back and so what we're going to do today is store energy in a little bit different way so we're going to take our balloons and guys don't you don't need to blow them up yet i'm just going to tell you how this is going to work so right now there's there's not really any energy stored in this balloon right it's it's not it's not going to do anything except fall to the ground but what we can do is force some air particles into the balloon and it stretches the balloon out just the way that we stretched that rubber band a little bit. And that's going to store some potential energy in the balloon. So if I take it and blow it up, now there's, there's some energy that's being stored in the, in the elastic material in the rubber, in the balloon, right? So that's potential energy. And if I want to release that, if I want to release this energy in this balloon, what do I have to allow to happen? You have to let it go. I have to let it go. And if I let it go, it lets those particles come out, right? And when those particles come out, that balloon's going to go back to the shape that it was. And then all that energy is gone. Um, but I can, I can use that energy to do a little bit of work if I want. So energy is never gained or lost, it just gets transferred. It's like different kinds of bank accounts. You have your kinetic energy bank account and your potential energy bank account. And so right now this doesn't have any potential to do any work. But if I if I use use my energy to put to force particles in here, I can store energy in that balloon and then when I let go, it flies off, right? Josie is alarmed. Okay, so it just up my face. so we are going to use that information to be able to move a balloon vehicle. All right, so that's the first part. Is we understand a little bit about kinetic and potential let energy. It fly. Just be careful. All right, so next we're going to get some stuff together to build a balloon car. So Josie's Josie's been prototyping. What do you? What are the important parts of a car? What do you need to have a car? It went fly. Travel. Wheels. You need to have Make wheels. A, a power source. You need to have a power source. You need Something kinetic energy and potential energy. <laughs> We're going to need some energy. Usually the energy that we use for and our cars comes jerky. from gasoline. So. Um, we also need beef jerky in the car. So here's, I'm going to need you guys to go and collect some things. Are you ready for this? Um, it's really handy. Give me one of those guys. Give me the, give me the flash one. It's really handy if you've got wheels on an axle. I don't know if I can pop these off. This is like kind of a robust system. Um, but I'm going to borrow oh, you're going to make a car with potential energy. Yeah, so if you've got some Legos, go, do you guys have Legos? Okay, if you have Legos at your house, get some wheels. Get, some, get an axle and get a plate so that you can build a little car like this. That's the easiest thing to do. Okay, are you guys ready? Can you go do that? Like, Hold on, I have a question. Kaylee's ready to go. 
An axle is the is the bar that goes between your wheels so that you can attach it to something. Olivia, do you have wheels at your house? Oh, I'll be right back. While I eat at my breakfast. Eat my breakfast. Yeah, so just in case, Josie, Josie got these. So if you wanted to make like a dune buggy car and you have your Lego wheels, you could glue these on here. But, you know, you could go over big things. Those are great. Yeah. This plate. Here goes our clock again. All right. Did you guys know? that when Isaac Newton came up with some of his ideas about motion, that he was quarantining from the bubonic plague. So he was stuck in his house and he did physics things. And he had just finished his fourth year at, at Cambridge. Anyway. All right. So, sorry, it's my alternate axle. So what you want to do with your Lego car, I'm going to, I'm sorry, I'm going to horrify Josie. So what you want to do, you want to have your wheels attached to your base plate. And then you need to figure out a way to attach your balloon here. So the way that Josie has done it, do you want to show them how you did it? So Josie's going to demonstrate here. Just make sure you do it where they can see you. Sorry, do you want me to put this back? Yeah. You can almost use this little guy as like a pinch device. Like, he's like a little lever. All right, Josie, why don't you go ahead and show them what you did? Okay, so what I did to attach my balloon is, so while well, the balloon can't just sit on top of this, because then the balloon will just fly away without the car. So I thought if you like pinch it though, then it won't let any air escape. So I did is I created a small hole on the car where the balloon this camera. Wrong camera. where the balloon could fit through but not well where it's not too big that can just fly out. work okay so i have my balloon blown up here i'm going to put it through not sure okay so see how it fits in yeah he stole it while i was So if you guys see how this fits in, so I've twisted it so all the air doesn't escape. Take it upstairs. He will not have. So I'm going to untwist it. And now I'm going to release it. Okay, it's ready. Three, two, one. <laughs> it ran into my mom's car. Can I blow it up? No, 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 no. Do it and drive it that way. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna try to drive it this way. There we go. I blew my wheel over. <laughs> I like how the little minifigure looks kind of concerned, but determined. I would be concerned if I was him, too. Concerned but determined face. Okay, so an alternate way to do this so, um, can I, is um, to take some cardboard uh, circles for wheels and use our toothpicks. I'm gonna get another one. And all you need is something that can pass through a straw. So this is a straw that's taped on the cardboard. That's my base. My chin. I think it looks that you're gonna go really far with that. Oh, it, it shouldn't float away. It might blow away. So take some toothpicks uh -huh. and some tape. I just have this big roll over here. It'll blow away up into the air if I pull it. I should have filled this up with helium. <laughs> I've got two pieces of tape. I'm going to take my toothpicks. 
Okay. How'd it do, Josie? I have this super filled up balloon. I haven't it's gotten it back. ready yet. I just so pinched it down. Contraption? Um, Who, who's that asking? Who was that? Me. Are you, How do I make the contraption? Out of Legos? You need yeah. to attach the wheels to something, and then you need to attach yeah. the balloon like, to I mean, that. Like, the thing that Josie made, I... So, yeah. sorry. All that okay. I did is I simply made just like a little tunnel. So what I did is I had a pretty big car frame piece. So I took a four by one, well, two of them, and I put them next to each other on the edges. Mine was four wide. So I just put them on the edges, then took two two by fours and placed them on top. So then I had a little cave. I just added a minifigure for fun. Then I just slid the balloon through. And I just put this to keep it in place for now since it's really big. Okay, thank you. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take you guys into my kitchen onto the hardwood where I shall be releasing this. Well, it's fine. It will. I think we'll put this work even though there's a square. Which pieces did you use? I used. I used. Alright, so I've got my my four cardboard wheels two, on a piece of cardboard for my chassis. Here, and then these ones I cut a straw in half for my axles, really built those toothpicks. Two well, you just need two one by fours and then two two by fours and just place them on That's not the greatest design. Okay, here we go in three. Um, which direction should I do it? I would do it going away from the computer. Okay, so I'm gonna see how far this will go. Like forward, not okay. horizontally, but like straight ahead. Okay, three, two. One. Wait, I'm gonna move it. Okay. Wait, did you guys see that? No? I don't know. <laughs> Mine went about six, seven, maybe feet. So Josie, were you were you happy with that performance? Yeah, I kind of wish it had gone a bit further. Though. Is there a way you can make it go further? If you wanted to juice it up so it could go farther, what would you do? Go up two balloons. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try two balloons. I think I can pull that yeah, off. Yeah, you could increase the force. What was the other thing we said you could do? Um, remove the weight. Remove the mass. mass. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna add two balloons. <laughs> Yeah, Naya, there's actually some physics about how easy it is to inflate a balloon. And when the radius is smaller, it's harder to blow up. And then when it's larger, it's easier. So that's a real thing. Josie has a very elaborate balloon setup. Ready? Three. There's the double, double right there. Two, one. Oh, no, they're twisted. 
it's not coming out fast enough. No, it's that they're twisted. I forgot to untwist them. No, 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 I'm losing this one. This didn't go as planned. Womp. Womp, womp, womp. You know, I'm actually just going to blow this up as much as I can. All right. If it pops, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm going to blow this up as much as I can, though. There. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at this in comparison to my head, guys. Uh, okay, three, two, one. Okay. I'm going to put this so you guys can see it. Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> it popped a wheelie. <laughs> Going, that's kind of incredible. That How'd you change it? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to show them the size. Oh, it's like you. Okay, guys, so Here this is. is... I'm going to show you what it looks like compared to my cat. <laughs> Here's my cat. <laughs> Cat's like, hmm. Cats had it. Two, one.